Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about how to add white box tools in ArcGIS. You can subscribe to this channel to follow all my previous useful GIS tips and tutorials. For those who are interested in taking up a complete course from basic to advanced GIS, you can register at WiseGIS by following these links. I will provide all useful links in the description below. So let's start today's exercise. White box tools can be used to perform common GIS analysis operations such as cost distance analysis distance buffering or raster reclassification. In remote sensing and image processing tasks, you can uh, perform functions like image enhancement, for example, panchromatic sharpening. You can also perform image mosaicing, numerous filtering operations, simple classifications, and common image transformations. It also contains tools that can perform special hydrological analysis, like for example, uh, flow accumulation, watershed alienation, stream network analysis, it, you can also perform uh, terrain analysis, for example, common terrain indices like slope, curvature, wetness index, hail shading, among others. You can also use uh, the white box tools in LiDAR data processing. There is a link here that we have that you're going to be using it to get these white box tools. So let's get the white box tools. I'm going to copy this link. I'm also going to provide this link in the description. So I'm going to open my browser, and in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. And uh, this is where I can actually get the white box tools for ArcGIS. And you can see it's public. So for me to be able to get the white box tools, I'm going to go to this green tab here that has code. So I'm going to click on the drop down. And in the drop down, there is uh, an option of downloading a zip file. So I'm going to click on download zip file. And then. Uh, I will save it somewhere in my computer. So I'm going to click on uh, start download. It's fairly a small file. Our download is completed and saved somewhere in our computer. So I'm going to access the place where it has been saved. So I'm going to click on open folder. And you can see we have the white box tools here. So I can actually just copy it. I can just cut and then paste it somewhere where I do all my GS things. I'm going to save it to JS folder. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it white box tools. I'm going to paste it there. Then I'm going to unzip this file. And now I have my unzip file and when I open, I have some tools within this file. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to open ArcMap. Now that we have ArcMap open, I'm going to go to the Arc Toolbox. I'm going to click on Arc Toolbox to actually activate Arc Toolbox. So there are actually two ways you can actually load the, the white box tools. So the first way is by using the Arc Catalog. So I'm going to go to the Arc Catalog first. If you don't have the Arc Catalog like me here, you can actually access it by clicking here. Then we're going to go to Folder Connections. I'm going to go to Folder Connections. Then I'm going to say Connect to a Folder. I'm going to right click on the Folder Connection and I'm going to Connect to a Folder. Then I'm going to search for where my folder is. I'm going to go to my PC. Where I save the, the folder. GIS. And I have a white box tools. So I'm going to connect to the folder within the white box tools, the one that the unzipped folder. Then after that, I'm going to say okay. And now we have our our connection to the folder that has the white box tools at, at GS Master. So if I expand the folder, we'll find that I have another folder here. And if I expand it again, I will have several other folders now including the white box tools here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just expand the white box tool dot PYT. And now you can actually be able to now see that it has all the tools uh, that are uh, going to help you in your analysis. There's the data tools, the geomorphic analysis, GIS analysis, hydrographical analysis, image process tools, LIDAR tools, maths and stats tools, precision agriculture and then stream network analysis. Now, that is one way of actually 
now accessing these white box tools. Another way that I would recommend everyone to use is by going to the Act Toolbox. If you don't have the Act Toolbox, if you Act Toolbox, you can actually just access it by getting it from here. Then I'm actually going to add it directly to the Act Toolbox. And for us to be able to to load it directly into the Act Toolbox, you just come to the Act Toolbox, the first folder. Right click on it and they say add toolbox and you select the white white box tools dot p o i t only and then click on open and then you wait for a few seconds and it will appear in your app toolbox now we have our white box tools in their app toolbox so when I'm going to expand it and you can see now it also has the same same thing that we actually saw from their catalog then uh, so you can actually just go through it and see all these uh, tools like in the other data tools it has so many tools we can also expand the geomorphometric analysis you can see it has all these tools and uh, the GIS analysis tools uh, the hydrological tools so there are actually so many tools there are over 400 tools the image processing tools and so on and so forth now that we have our white box tools i'm going to just do a random analysis of any kind of data and see if the tools actually work so the first thing i need to do is i need to get some data so i'm going to add some dm data of a region any, any region in the world so i'm going to connect to my folder data folder and i'm going to look for dm data and i have some data for region in Olmia and this is a uh, raster data for a region in Olmia in Ethiopia so I'm going to just test and see if these tools actually work so I'm going to just choose one of one random tool so I'm going to go to uh, maybe say let's go to maybe hydrological analysis and then under hydrological analysis I look for a tool you can see there are so many tools I'm just going to select one tool here maybe say flood order and it brings up uh, this uh, dialog box. So I'm going to just input my file, which is the raster layer I have, the DM data. And then I'm going to specify an output. So I'm going to click on specify an output. And I'm going to just save it somewhere in my computer. I have a test folder somewhere. Yes, and I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm going to call it flood order. This is not necessarily the procedure of doing the flood order, but I'm just trying to test and see if it works. So I'm going to save the the, the output as just test test one. Then I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to run. Now that I have my input and my output, I'm going to run and I'm going to get a .tif file. Uh, so I'm going to click on OK and uh, it runs you can see it's running here then a pop-up appears here don't do anything just let's wait and see if we're going to get any result and after a few seconds i think we have our results here so i think the software works pretty well i'm going to just change the color ramp and see what i get and you can see we have some result here that shows something. So uh, now that we know it's, it's working fine, we can now go ahead and do a different analysis using these amazing tools. That's it for today's exercise. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on GIS, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in my next video. Thank you.